Okay, hey, it's Rebecca, and I am going to show you real quick how to put an image over on the sidebar. I don't know, you probably can't see my cursor, but I am hovering over this photo, and so at least the Pinterest button is showing up. So you can put a photo, any kind of photo, over here on the sidebar, and I'm going to show you how to link it to a page. So let me go to my home page. <clears throat> instead of my about me page that way you can see oh it's going so slow <laughs> um, okay so we're on my home page this is where all my blog posts are and then right here I have this image hey I'm Rebecca click here to meet me but I don't love this image because the words don't look as good as they did when I was in the program making this so I have edited it and I'm going to change it, but real quick, I'm going to show you if I click on it, if I click on that photo, it's going to change the URL, see? Um, and it took us to the About Me page. Okay, so that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Um, let's see. So the first thing that you need to do is open up a new page, like create a new page, and you're going to drag your media onto the page um, and you're going to title it. You're going to leave it as a draft and not publish it. Um, now I'm here on this page that I already created because I'm going to remove this one. So this is also how to <laughs> remove it <coughs> when you want to change it. I'm going to go ahead and X out of it, get rid of that, click on add media. remember what I called it. Um, profile pick blog widget is I think what I called it. There we go. Bam. Drag that over so it's uploading to my blog. WordPress blog. Uploading. And then we're going to go ahead and insert it into the page. Hopefully it's going to look good. Oh, I don't want to do it on medium. I want it full sized. There we go. Okay. I don't know what size I need it to be at, but I think 300. That's what I had the other one. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to go into edit the photo, custom size, and make the width 300. And then this is where you make it linkable like so that um, you can click on it and have it go to a specific page on your blog. <clears throat> right now it says media file. I don't want it to say media file. I want it to go to a custom URL. Get rid of that. And that's going to be this about me page. So I'm going to copy that URL, paste it over here, and then click on update. So that's going to change the size of the image as well as make it a linkable photo, like a, you know, an active link. Then we're going to go over here and click on text. See how it's visual and text? <clears throat> now we want to grab this. Copy and go over to widgets. And this is my very top widget. I'll come back here and show you. See, there's the photo over on the right, my right sidebar. That's where my widgets are. It's the very top one under my header image. And then I've got, you know, my follow me links and my um, free cleaning guide, etc. So I'm going to go over here to widgets. My very top one, primary sidebar, is what this um, theme calls it. So I'm going to click down on this text bar. Oh, if you don't already have a text bar there, you need to grab it over here. This is where you grab the different things that you put over here. So there's a text and you just like click on it and drag it over and put it where you want it. Um, and then I'm going to get rid of this because that's the old photo and put this one in its place. Click on save. Then we'll go back to the blog. I clicked on home, you can click on refresh, whatever it is, and then we can see, nope, it didn't work yet. Let's see, is this done? Saving. 
Don't tell that. Hmm. All right, refresh. And there it is. So there's the new photo. The difference was um, I had just had some drop shadow lettering in the text um, that I wanted to get rid of because it just made it look kind of messy. And so now if I click on it, <laughs> um, yep, it's clickable. I'm probably going to change this photo too because I just like updating my photos as I take new photos. But that's how you do that. Um, hopefully, I left that all. Oh, it's a good idea to click back on visual just so that when you come back to the page, you're not confused. I always get confused when I see the HTML code over here instead of what I want to see. <laughs> Um, again, I'm not going to publish it. I will save the draft. And that's that. So now it just kind of lives in here. And you can do that with like anything. So if you have an opt-in, like my cleaning guide here, um, you would just have it like a clickable link that goes over mine. I use MailChimp for my um, email list. And so it links to my, my MailChimp. That's what this link is up here. Oh, let me show you one other thing. In the photo, you can make it when it, you have it with the custom URL. I believe you can have it open in a new tab. Now I don't necessarily want to do it for this one. You click save draft every time you make a change. Um, the reason that I don't necessarily want it for this one is because it's staying on the blog. But for that cleaning guide, I want that to open in a new tab. Okay, let's see if it worked. No. Hmm, okay, let's go to widgets. And I'm going to find the cleaning guide one. Whoa, oh, that's um, my follow me search. This is, yes, this is it. I can tell because it says US6 list manage. So that's the MailChimp code stuff. Um, Oh, I don't edit that here though. Let's see, so let's go media library. Come on. Oh, it takes its time. Um, <laughs> oh, it's not in media, oh, I'm sorry. I'm not making much sense. I need to go to pages, all pages. The page that I want is the one that I titled something about that. Opt-in. Cleaning guide. Cleaning with vinegar widget? No, cleaning guide widget. Okay, it's opening. Nice. I'm gonna take a quick drink of water. Let's see if this is it. Nope. <laughs> oh, there. There's two different ones. Okay, so I'm gonna click on this one. That's kind of handy. I didn't. I didn't remember that I had done it this way. That way, there's not a million different pages floating around with the different things that I'm using. So you can do more than one image on a page. Okay, so custom URL, open in a new link. This may not work, just because I don't really know what that means. <laughs> okay, I hit update. So now I'm gonna hit save draft. Let's see if it worked. As soon as it's done saving, then we'll go over um, to the front side of the blog. 
Oh, it's taking its sweet time, isn't it? You know what? Let's see. I may need to um, put the code back in. So I'm going to click on text, and it's this one, the lower one. I'm going to click on widgets. Um, See what it looks like? Oh, okay. Yep, that looks good. Save. And if you wanted to change the size of it without looking for that page that has the photo on it and editing it there, you can do it right here in the widget. You just change your dimensions right there. Okay, so I saved. Okay, so now we're going to go over here and click refresh, and then we'll see if it worked. If it didn't work, then now you know. Oh, it did. Look at that. It opened it in a new window. That way, I'm keeping people here where I want them. Um, And then you just fill that out and subscribe, blah, blah, blah. And it takes you through that whole process. Well, I'm so glad that that worked. <laughs> All right. So this is Rebecca again. And this was how to put a clickable link in a photo in your sidebar on your WordPress blog. Have a great day. I am out.